Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, Kanye West, America's superstar rapper, is said to be in process of purchasing conservative media outlet parlor. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rastafari, soldier of Deep Roots TV. Greetings, greetings, and salutations to all nations. Ladies and gentlemen, you know I'm Rastafari, so the year of the Boost TV. And if this is yes, your first time tuning in, I'm asking you hit hey, that red food, subscribe you button. And we will have a great man. relationship, Lord, ladies and gentlemen. It's a breaking news. Kanye West is to acquire conservative social media platform Parlor. Parlor parent company announced the deal on Monday morning saying Wes had made a groundbreaking move into the free speech media space and will never have to fear being removed from social media again. The acquisition comes after Wes, who has legally changed his name to Ye, had his account temporarily locked by Twitter this month over an anti-Semitic tweet. Exact terms of the parlor deal were not disclosed. The parlor said it must still enter into definitive agreement with Wes and expect to close in the fourth quarter. Parlor's parent company, Parliament Technology, would remain involved in providing technical service and cloud support. Buying Parlor could make Wes the latest celebrity to own his own social media platform after President Donald Trump bid to win over conservative with Truth Social and Tesla CEO Elon Musk proposed acquisition of Twitter. It also highlights how a small group of wealthy men, some of whom were banned or suspended themselves for in Sinary remarks are looking to own social media platforms in an effort to bolster what they call freedom of speech. As CNN Business Report continues, in a world where conversation opinions are considered to be controversial coming from conservative to make sure we have the right to freely express ourselves, Kanye West said he would purchase Parler in a release. As part of the announcement, Parler linked a West account to the platform which appeared to have launched simultaneously. As of early Monday, the account have garnered up to 500 followers. For yay, the deal comes during a particularly controversial period. Wes had made headline recently for wearing a White Lives Matter shirt, the t-shirt in public, and defending his use of the slogan. A phase that Anti-Defamation League has linked to white supremacy group. As funny to Fox host Tucker Carlson, after the shirt incident, the apparel company Adidas this month said it would review the partnership with Wes. In September, Wes also said that he was abandoned a two-year partnership with closing retailer Gap. Speaking on CNN Monday, Jonathan Greenbattle, the ADLS CEO called Parlor a heaven for hate. Parlor was funded in 2018 and saw rapid growth surrounding 2020 election. Billing itself as a loosely moderate free speech haven, the app became popular with conservative politicians and media figures, peaking at an estimate 2.9 million daily use according to the market research app Apophia. But since then, its fortune have dimmed with Parler estimating daily use continue to slip to just 40,000 in accordance to Optopia. 
In the week following January 6th, right, Parler was removed from both Apple and the Google App Store for what the company says failure to adequately moderate violence rhetoric on their platform. Documents providing to the House Committee investigation, the Capitol right shows how the security service was aware of post on Parler and suggested the possibility of violence surrounding that day. Separately, Parler has written a congressional letter claiming that the lawmakers' interest in the app in the role of the riot has been intended to scapegoat the app. Parler has since been restored on both platforms of the store apps on Apple and on Google. Paula has faced more competition in a recent month as right-wing digital app ecosystem has expanded. Truth Social also has launched in February by former President Donald Trump and has been approved by the Google App Store on October 13. Truth Social saw a spike in download last week due to the appearance on Google Play Store Aptopia said, and before then, had been hovering at 140,000 daily activity users. Must move to buy Twitter. If the deal goes through, also has the potential to upend Parler and similar services. Musk must rapidly call for elimination of permanent bans and rethink Twitter approach to content moderation, which could once again make a much larger platform a home so far for users who has jumped to smaller services like Parler. It could also affect, mean that Musk and Ye, who are said to be friends, are now competing with each other. After Ye anti-Semitic tweet sparks an outcry, Musk tweeted, I talked to Ye today and express my concern about his recent tweet, which I think he took to heart. One year later, Ye dealt, one week later, excuse me, Ye's deal to buy Powerler was announced. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rastafari Right Soldier here just announcing superstar rapper, billionaire, Ye West has put in his bid to purchase conservative social media platform Parler. Let me know if this is a good idea. Let me know if Ye is in over his head. But hey, man a billionaire and them a try ban you. You just buy your own social media. That's the way it's supposed to go. Great move Ye. Good power move. More life and more joy and more happiness, my family. It's a breaking news. Hello, my name is Ashina and welcome to Deep Roots TV. Big <laughs> up Deep Roots TV. Respect, make sure to tune in here every time.